Well, I don't have to address that as a philosophical question. I can address that as an empirical question. It's obvious that it is, because there are many people who are scientists who are also people of faith. There are many theologians uh, whose job it is, whose life it is to think about religious issues, who are enthusiastic uh, acceptors and supporters of science and who, who are, are excited by the things that scientists discover. So it's empirically obvious that, that there's no necessary conflict between science and religion. When a religion makes a fact claim, such as the creation science people will uh, talk about um, how Grand Canyon was laid down, for example. They believe that Grand Canyon was laid down by the waters from Noah's flood, that somehow you got 4,000 feet of layers of different kinds of rock all laid down in that approximately one year time that the water was covered with, that the earth was covered with water. Not bloody likely, but. And they also claim that uh, an, uh, Grand Canyon was cut catastrophically. A huge amount of water came sluicing through this um, 4,000 plus feet of uh, sediment and produced this big canyon in two weeks. Okay, that is a fact claim. Okay, you can examine that scientifically and we can look at the geological evidence of Grand Canyon and we can find lots and lots of evidence why that is simply incompatible with the idea, for example, that all those layers were laid down by water. Can't happen given what we know about modern geology. So we can reject that statement. Now, if a creation science person came back uh, and said, well, God did it that way, I believe God did it that way because I believe in the literal truth of the Bible and so that must be true. God did it that way but he just made it look like it was laid down by uh, other kinds of processes. Okay, now you've stepped outside of science. Science can't say, that's wrong because science can't test statements having to do with God. And the only, the only statements we can test are those having to do with the natural world. So if you step completely outside of that and bring God in as an explanator, you know, you've, you're gone outside of science. Mm -hmm. So science can weigh and accept or reject fact claims made by science. Excuse me. Science can accept or reject fact claims made by religion. But the basic idea that, there, that a supernatural exists, which is foundational to the religions we're familiar with, and I would argue as an anthropologist, foundation to the idea of religion inter, you know, across the planet, tribal religions as well. That basic idea of does a supernatural exist or not is not something science can measure.